If you're watching this, I'm dead. Let's <laughs> go. 
Unlike you, I'm not afraid of dying. I'd rather keep my humanity. You'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. Operations. So 
Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Here's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get it doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom?
I'm at Gotham U. So this professor was Batman's last case? Kirk Langstrom. Batman attached a half-finished file to his code black. Langstrom must have been mixed up in something bad. Hopefully that means a fight. Could stand to let out some aggression right now. Positive ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Our scientist got himself dead. Where's his office? I remember reading that Langstrom's office is in Molten Hall on the third floor. Thanks. Huh. Someone left the doors open on the third floor. This is it. Not seeing much police work here. Guess Langstrom kicked it somewhere else. Okay, those marks are weird. Not much on my end yet. You need anything, big guy? I got this. You don't need to do all of this alone if something's weird. Sounds like you don't trust me, Nightwing. He trusted you. So, so do I. We'll finish this for him. Yeah, yeah, I get it. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Langstrom was busy working when he was attacked. He lost a lot of blood. Fast. He tried to run. But the attacker pinned him to the wall. He didn't have a chance. Just before he died, Langstrom tried to get to that cabinet. What could be so important? Well, well, well. A hidden door. You're full of surprises, Dr. Langstrom. I can enter a code on the thermostat. Hmm. Langstrom circled two dates. Better remember those. Is this just a movie he liked, or is the release date a clue? That's not a Gotham area code. Maybe this phone number isn't just a phone number. Thank you. 
This microwave doesn't look right. Maybe it's not just for warming up leftovers. <laughs> Got it. Time to find out what you were hiding, Langstrom. Can't be normal university research. What did Langstrom do to these things? Langstrom's desk. Let's see what he's been up to down here. What is this? A hard drive. Must be important if it was hidden down here. Better get this back to everyone. I'm done here. I don't think the cops saw the marks on the walls, and they definitely didn't see the hidden lab. I'm bringing you a hard drive I found in there. Can't wait to decrypt that bad boy. See you soon. Seriously, no one could have... are here setting fires. Of course. With Batman missing, gangs have become more aggressive. It was only a matter of time before the freaks showed up. Well, time for me to crash their party. The damn fire alarm up there! Better take care of his buddies before they burn the whole damn place down. Getting to you, buddy. This never gets old. Smashy, smashy, smash, smash, smash. Shut up. There's gotta be more of them here.
Damn it, this whole place is gonna burn down. drive I found so we can crack it open together. Maybe we'll find out what got Langstrom killed. Can't wait to see what you have. 